Hello and welcome to the BATS99 Ultralight and Quadcopter channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about Hubs and Zeno batteries. When I first got my Hubs and Zeno H117S, which came with two batteries, I was getting over 15 minutes of flight time out of each one. Over the months this slowly began to deteriorate, but almost overnight it seemed to me it suddenly collapsed to just a few minutes. And it seems that I wasn't alone, because very many Hubs and Zeno owners were also reporting the same problem. The problem was a battery error due to the battery voltage decreasing at an excessively high rate while in flight. Despite so many Hubs and Zeno owners reporting the problem, there was no solution forthcoming from Hubson, so the only conclusion that could be drawn was that this was a genuine battery problem. The only solution, therefore, was to purchase replacement batteries, and the question at that point was whether to go for genuine Hubson batteries or for some other brand. The obvious alternative is the GIFI battery, spelled G-I-F-I. The reason being that whereas the original Hubson batteries are 3000 mAh units, the GIFIs are 4200 mAh, theoretically offering nearly 50% more flying time. The purpose of this video is to help other Hubson Zeno owners who are facing this dilemma as I did, should you go for more Hubson batteries or should you go for Jiffy replacements? To help solve this dilemma, this video is of two flights of my Hubson Zeno H117S. The first is with the original Hubson Zeno battery with the battery fault and the second is a flight with a new Jiffy battery. Okay, here we are. The Zeno is uh, all ready to go. It's got the original Hubson Zeno battery in with the battery fault. It's a cool, dull day here in southwest France. It's about, supposed to be about 10 degrees. I'm not quite sure if it's as warm as that. I've set the white balance to cloudy, but let's get the video going. Um, we're at battery 100%. Uh, let's get the uh, Zeno in the air and see how much we get out of it. Okay, up we go. Refresh to the return point. Please mind the return position. I'm going to take it up to about 35 meters. My return to home is set at 30. Now, if you notice, it's already down to... 90% and we've only been going for 30 seconds. I'm not going to take it out too far because uh, I know we're not going to get a lot of flying time out of this battery and I want to make sure that I get the the Zeno back safely. Down to 80% and we've only been going for less than a minute. Just give you a bit of a look at the countryside here where I live. As I say, I'm not going to go out too far, only a hundred, couple of hundred meters at the most, because I've already had a bad experience with the battery going low and the Zeno. Battery error. Please replace. As you can see, we've now got the battery error at 60%, 58%. I'm going to do a return to, return home, to home just to make sure that I do get it back safely. We're now at 50, 55% and only 1 minute 52, just coming up to 2 minutes of flight time. Okay, the Zeno is in fact now coming back it's just coming into overhead okay I'm gonna stop the return to home cancel return uh, now I know that it's safe uh, we'll do a you can see the error is showing on the screen here battery drains too quickly please replace 
I'm actually flying, just flying more or less overhead. If I hover, it's not fair because it obviously uses less power if it's only hovering compared to flying. So now down to 48. Actually, it's doing better than it has done in the past. It's holding at 40, 48 and we've done what? Uh, three minutes or something, 47. As I say, I'm not, got, I'm not taking the Xeno too far. I flew, uh, I flew the Xeno yesterday with an old one of these old batteries and I only got four minutes out of it so uh, we could be doing a little bit better today 42 percent forty percent. 39 I'm going to do a rep return to home return to home while I've still while I know I can still do it safely 38% and we've just we're just over 4 minutes well you can see that uh, compared to 15 or 16 minutes which is what the battery was giving when it was new uh, this is um, not too good. I'm going to stop the return. Cancel to home return. Again. Just while there's still a reasonable amount of battery. You can see the, the error is still showing. Battery drains too quickly. Please replace. And I see this battery, in fact, is doing better than I got yesterday. We're now up to about five minutes. Five minutes from a Hubson Zeno battery is um, is not really acceptable. I'm I'm not going to let it go beyond much beyond thirty percent. The battery. Let's put another return to home. Return to home. Just to bring it back overhead. Now down to 31%. 29%. This time we're going to let it. Um, I'm going to let it come in. So I shall stop the the drone video. I don't think I don't think it can do a search for the landing pad. Oh, it, it's going to give it a go, even though the battery is in, in fact, in an error. It wasn't doing that yesterday. Twenty-six percent. I don't think it's going to make the pad, but we'll see. 23%. Return to home. It has just... Just missed the pad. Okay, there's our flight. Our battery is now showing 19% as you can see. And we'll look at the time afterwards when we come to do a roundup of the two flights. Okay, here we are again. We're all ready to go. 
the Helston Zeno is set up as before. This time we've got the GFI battery in. Uh, we're all set. Let's start the video and get her up in the air and let's see how she performs with the GFI battery. Refresh to the return point. Please mind the return position. Once again, going to go up to about 35 meters. Right, now if you notice, the battery voltage or the capacity seems to be falling quite quickly. It's gone down to 90%, which uh, could be uh, a bit of a worry. But my advice, having flown a couple of times now with the GFI, is not to worry because once it gets down to roughly 80% it seems to stabilize. You see we're now at 79, 78 and we've, you think we've only been going for one minute and we've lost 20% of the battery. But if you notice the uh, it's now stabilized pretty much at 78%. And my experience is that it, from this point on it will now continue falling but very more slowly. Sorry it's such a, a dull day but I'll try and we we'll do a bit of a fly around um, so you can get an idea of, the, of what the countryside is, is like here where I live. But the, the whole idea, of course, is just to fly to see how we do on battery life. As you can see, we're now three, three minutes and we've only, we're only down to 70% now. So having fallen very quickly, the battery fell very quickly to 80, 80 or 80% 80 roughly. It has in fact now started to stabilise. All I'm going to do is just fly around a bit just to just general flying just to see how the battery goes. So we're now 66% and five minutes. So we're already at something like the flight time of the old Xeno battery. I can see the drone now flying by uh, not, not very far, what's only a hundred meters. Let's do what we're going to do I think just for fun. The little house there is a tourist sheet and as no one's occupying it let's do a manual orbit there's nobody in there I wouldn't if any, if someone was in there if someone was living in it I wouldn't I wouldn't do an orbit but being as I know it's empty I don't mind doing it So we're now up to over six minutes and down to, and still at 66% battery. I had a little glitch in the in the FPV on the phone. Still 66% battery and nearly seven minutes. So we're already getting an indication that the GFI battery is going to way outfly the original Hubson Zeno. The question is, will it outfly the original Hubson Zeno battery that didn't have 
the battery fault. 60%, seven, nearly, nearly eight minutes down to 60% battery. Let's go over into this clear, clear area here. Right, now let's turn as we're just having a little bit of fun here thirty five meters right let's take it down Getting a bit low, getting 11, 10, 10, well, take it down. Okay, that's down to five or six meters, but that's five or six meters from the takeoff point, not from the land it's flying over. It's actually higher than that. Um, where it's actually flying. If I do a turn you'll see that the land falls away from where it took off. I'll raise the gimbal. It took off from up the top of the slope there. Battery level 40% 13 minutes. Thirty-one percent, and we're fifteen minutes. So fifteen fifteen minutes is about the maximum I was getting on the original Hubson Zeno batteries without battery fault. Right, I'm going to do a return to home. Return to home. It's down to twenty-seven percent. Now 26, and probably what I'll do, I'll, I'll just let it um, hover for a while. 25% battery, okay. Cancel okay, return. the return. I've cancelled the return for now and what I'll do is I'll let it land at 20% battery and see if we can stretch it to 20 minutes. Okay, now let's do a return to home. Return to home. Where are we? We're 18, 18 and a half minutes, 20% battery. I'm now going to turn the video off and see whether we can see whether we can do a there's the there's the drone pad it's found the drone pad but unlike the Fimi unlike my Fimi even when it's found the drone pad it doesn't mean it'll land on it because before it lands it uh, returns it returns, it turns the gimbal back up again. And uh, then unfortunately, in that, in the time it takes to turn the gimbal up and land, it often goes up, off away from the landing pad, which it looks as though it's gonna do again now. 17%, wow, it's taken the last few percent to have um, dropped away quite quickly. The other thing I can do, of course, is to do a hand catch. Now I'm too late, it's now going to land. 
there we are, it's landed. It's landed and it's just got one foot on the edge of the landing pad. So, there we are. There's the comparison. Now, uh, let's uh, close this flight down and do a roundup of the two. Hello, back again. It's the next day and as it's raining outside, I've come indoors to do a quick roundup of what we can learn from these two flights. The whole point of doing the flights was to compare the flight times from each battery and I've done that by looking at the videos that were recorded each time. These show that the original Hubson Zeno battery gave a flight time of 6 minutes and 55 seconds whereas the GFI gave a flight time of 19 minutes and 30 seconds. The 6 minutes and 55 seconds in fact although it's very low from the Hubson Zeno battery, is better than the time I got with the other Zeno battery of the same age that I have, which only gave four minutes the day before. So this shows that the GFI gives at least three times the flight time of the original Hubson Zeno battery, which has the battery fault. But of course, that isn't the question that we need to answer. The question is, how does a Jiffy compare to an original Hubson Zeno battery when it's new? Well, when my Zeno batteries were new, I was getting about 15 minutes of flight time from them. So 19 minutes and 30 seconds from the Jiffy is something like a 30% improvement. This isn't surprising because the Jiffy battery is a 4,200 milliamp hour battery and the Hubson Zeno only a 3000 milliamp hour unit, uh, which is a 40% difference. But the science doesn't work like that. You don't use the whole battery each time. You only go down to a certain voltage level, at which point the battery shuts off. So I think a 30% improvement is a reasonable improvement for the Jiffy battery. Where I have been disappointed with my Hubson Zeno batteries is with their lifetimes. They're only about a year old, and to go down from 15 minutes to 4 minutes, to me, I don't think is acceptable. That begs the question, how long will a Jiffy battery last? And of course, we can't answer that question at this point. At least I can't, because I've only had my Jiffy batteries for a couple of days. Only time will tell. The point of this video is to try to help people decide whether to stick with an original Hubson Zeno battery or go for a new GFI. I've got no axe to grind, I'm not trying to sell one compared to the other. I'm happy with the performance of the GFI battery and I'm glad that I made the decision to go for it. So that's it for now and see you next time on the BATS 99 Ultralight and Quadcopter channel.